All right, good day everyone. Well, let's take a look at the Kings River, the Kings River, California. Okay, here, Fresno, to the east of Fresno, we have the Kings River. Reading right from uh, Wikipedia, so uh, the Kings River is a major river of South Central California, about 125 miles. 201 kilo kilometers. It's from the High Sierras and the Central Valley. Starts up at about 13,000 feet. That's 4,005 meters. In and around Kings Canyon National Park. Fresno right here. Kings River is right here. This is Pine Flat Lake. Pine Flat Lake. And the Kings River goes all the way up. Out towards this way. Kings Canyon National Park way out here, Pine Flat Lake, and Kings River goes all the way down here and out here somewhere. I never fish in these areas. It's always been above the 180, so uh, we're mainly just going to focus up here. For, for this video's convenience, I'm going to call this part of the Kings River way up here the Upper Upper Kings, okay? Because we have above Pine Flat Lake, we have we'll call the Upper Kings, right? But if you continue going towards this way, eventually you'll, you'll, uh, you'll hit a dead end. And the only way to get to the higher parts of the Kings River, you'll have to take the 180 and head towards Kings Canyon Na National Park. So I'm just gonna call this the Upper Upper Kings. Coming from Fresno, going heading up to Pine Flat, for those who are not from around here, uh, if you're taking 180, you can either take the North Piedra Street down here, here and go toward this way, or most people, or myself, we like taking, I like to go down the 180 and then take Academy up to Belmont and take Belmont all the way. Belmont turns into Trimmer Springs Road, and that takes us all the way there. So depending on where we're fishing, you can take either road. Okay, so, uh, through... Okay, this is the, uh, the regulations right here. So let's start off by uh, A, Kings River South Fork from the confluence of Copper Creek downstream to Highway 180, crossing at Boyden Cave. It's all year to, to, to back limit. So uh, going back to the map here, we zoom in. That's, according to the map, that's as far as farthest you can go on the Kings River. So, Copper Creek, Creek Trailhead. From there, and Boyden Cave is over here somewhere. Boyden Cave, right there. So from here to here, and we're here, it says, I'm sorry, there's actually a bridge right here. It crosses right here. Boom. And pay attention, it says close January through April. Uh, from what it looks like, right after deer season, it closes. Uh, there's a parking lot right here from Pointing Cave. And there's a trailhead that goes this way. Let's see, I see. So there you have it from way out here to right here. No way out way out right there. Copper Creek Trailhead, which is Copper Creek. Here to Gordon Cave. Uh, let's take a look at the regulations again. And B, Kings River South Fork. From Highway 180, crossing that Boyden Cave, downstream to the main stem, Middle Fork. From Western Boundary of Kings Canyon National Park, downstream to the main stem. The main stem from the confluence of the South and Middle Forks, downstream to Garnett Dyke Campground. 
all your artificial lures with barbless hooks maybe news zero bag limit zero so from here all the way to right here garnet dike this is uh, the very last campground so that's pretty much if you're going up upper kings from the lake this is as far as you can go there's some dirt roads over here but that road is usually always closed from there to there and as you can see if you want to hit any of these areas it's all hiking as far as I know all right let's move on let's see from Garnet Dyke Campground downstream to Pine Flat Lake all year to bag limit. So Garnet Dyke here all the way to the lake. It's kind of questionable to you know when it comes to which part is actually the lake, where does the lake actually begin. You know? Usually we consider probably somewhere out here. You know. But uh, just use your own judgment. And one thing I want to talk about is for the locals, for a lot of locals, we consider this, um, we have these bridges. There's four bridges. Once you get to Pine Flat Lake, there's four bridges. And sometimes we just regard them to first, second, third, or fourth bridge. And the first bridge is up here. That's Sycamore Creek. Second bridge is right there. Big Creek Road. A lot of people like to go up here and target practice because you are allowed to shoot guns over here and as you continue on uh, this is this is where we fished before but there's not a lot of trouts there anymore perch flat and that would be the third bridge right here as you continue and the fourth bridge if I remember correctly after you cross the fourth bridge down this way it's just dirt road but you know it's not bad uh, even a sedan can still make it and take you all the way keep going some cool campgrounds until you finally reach Garnet Dyke so that's the Upper Kings okay so at this time don't be surprised if you see a lot of my Asian brothers and sisters fishing from Trimmer Recreation Area from right from around these areas all along this wall all the way to First Bridge because uh, crappie is starting to hit and Trimmers is the fourth boat, boat launch the road is called Trimmer Springs as well. Lakeview Recreation Area, that's another boat launch. And you might be able to find some crappie around the marina and the shoreline. And Island Park Campground, that's an, there's another boat launch right here. People fish all along these shores too. Deer Creek up here and this is the main marina Deer Creek right here Deer Creek uh, boat launch recreation area and here we go below dam let's take a look below dam uh, if you're driving up here once you cross this once you cross this bridge, uh, you pretty much can't go anymore because of this. The Army had Army, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer. Uh, it used to be beautiful up here when I was a kid. We used to be able to 
uh, drive all the way up to the dam, to the dam, park up here, and walk the whole dam. It's beautiful, but you know, ever since ever since 9/11, the dam has been closed. Okay, so from the dam onward to this bridge, there's no trespassing in this area right here. So everyone fishes right here. So when people say below dam, it starts from right here, in the lower Kings River. Uh, Kings River from Pine Flat Dam. I'm on the, yeah. Kings River from Pine Flat Dam downstream to U.S. Army Corps. That's a little uh, confusing. Okay, so this, I don't know what the hell they're talking about, but the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Bridge on Pine Flat Road, I'm pretty sure they're talking about this bridge. From here, all the way down to Kings River, to this spot right here. Five a person, bag limit five. This is the uh, Alta Weir, Cobble Alta Weir. Now let's look at this right here. It says right here, Kings River Thor Thorburn Thorburn Spawning Channel, the 2,200 foot long channel located five miles downstream from Pine Flat Dam, and the reach of river within the two hundred foot radius of the channel exit. Channel exit, two hundred foot radius. Okay, closed to all fishing all year. And I used to have a difficult time looking for that, but this is what they're talking about. Right down here, just south of Winton Park. And they're talking about this. There's a... Right here. That is Thorburn. That is Thorburn Spawning Channel. So, the exit is right here, so... Off limits. People off limits, no fishing. That's why I, we always, I always wonder what the heck this building was. So uh, now we know. Okay, moving on. Kings River from Cobble all to Weir downstream to the Highway 180 crossing. All year. Only artificial lures, barbless hooks, maybe news, zero trouts, and that is from the Alta Weir, which is right here, all the way down to the 180. Keep going, keep going. 180 down here. Alta Weir, somewhere right here, all the way to the 180. As far as trout fishing goes, no one really goes south of 180. Uh, with the exception of sometimes they plant, they plant trout in Reedley. Uh, probably, I've never, I don't know exactly where. It has to be, has to be in any of the parks. Probably at the parks. But yeah, that's they sometimes plant trout in Reedley. And that pretty much does it for the regulations on his kings. And now really quick, going back to uh, below dam. Um, let's take a look at this right here. Uh, this is uh, DFG. Um, looking at the trout plant schedule. Okay, so usually you have a. Uh, usually all these dates, all these dates are always dated for a Sunday. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's. that the fishes are planted on Sunday. They don't tell you exactly which day they plant. They just put the date for the week of. Today is the 28th. And so that the Sunday that just passed is the 25th. And according to here, they planted below dam and at Avocado Lake. So, to the best of my knowledge, the area is where they plant. 
right below them is right here. They plant here. There's a dirt road. They might plant over here. From this dirt road. And as you go down, you got Twinumi Park right here. And they plant at this area, Twinumi Park. And then you go down here, right in this area is Winton Park. And I heard that they plant uh, three areas of this park, you know, like probably like a northern area, probably like a northern area, all right, probably right here, maybe right here, and south. And that's pretty much as far as I know. Besides that, they might plant once down here too, right? Right above the Alta Weir, Cabo Alta Weir. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they do. We have Kings River, Willow Dam, and Avocado Lake. Avocado Lake, right there. Right here. And everything, Kings River behind Avocado Lake is pretty good. Catch and release. And there we have it. But thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, I did go fishing yesterday. The Lower Kings and uh, four of us, only four fish, two person skunk. That's the forecast. And since the rain did come a few days ago, so the water is really murky. It makes it hard for trouts to see. If you have anything else to add, please do so in the comments below. Appreciate your time. I hope this helps even a little bit, even a little bit is a level up.